You can make my icon? How do you know? Yeah. Also, thank you for subscribing, you just Dylan. Did it. I appreciate look, you. Look, look, you changed your shirt. Look at the emote. It's a different color. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Thank your, you for subscribing, Dylan. Your shirt is now red. Six uh, months of subs. Damn. That's almost right seven. Here. Be a Goron and play. Oh, I have to be a Goron. Fuck. I'm, I think so. Uh, We're about to find out. Well, yeah, like only twenty bucks. For how many? I don't know what the things of September. Oh, are. sub subscribe for six months. I see. Oh. For only twenty bucks. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, that we we blew we dropped that one. We blew it. Um, I, another conversation I wanted to have, I'm totally cool if you don't want to have, because it's a little bit of a, there's no politics or anything. Okay. But it's more, it's a more delicate topic, I think, than we usually talk about. Okay. So I was in my, like. So I was jacking like, it the other day. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, in my travel back through, uh music i stumbled upon the pussycat dolls and okay. i was like wow i had two thoughts back to back it's like wow i don't think i've ever seen like musicians just be so overtly like we are a band that is pretty much exclusively formed because we are all hot women like right you know yeah. But then I then I had the immediate follow up thought. Well, it's like, well, everyone gives every like boom shit for over sexualizing or for being over sexualized. But isn't that their choice? Uh, yeah. I mean, like I, in this exact scenario, I mean, I see. I they okay. Shows. <laughs> so so I could see where if somebody didn't know us personally and heard that quote first they would be like mm. but like, i i, understand I know what you're getting at it's yeah not like that but right in this scenario where they are the con the creators producers and like deciders of what their own then totally is, yeah yeah that yeah so i'm i guess i was like wow i guess that's cool they're not being sexualized they're choosing to well that's that, that kind of that kind of uh wraps around to something recent that is topical which is wap 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 i told you i already told you i wasn't doing that by the way in the stream delay you you punched at the exact time as you said wap so that was good for me i enjoyed that fire arrow ah Yes. I loved it. I loved your webcam face. You're like, what the fuck? I'm like, he's not, you're not paying attention at all to me. The brow. Oh, you have zero arrows. I just traveled back in time. What do you want from me? Oh, that's another bad song, by the way. I have a conversation to have. That's cool if you don't want to have Dylan's on Survivor. Yes. Dylan no. on Survivor. Yes, no. I think you should do no. it. You can fuck yourself. Yeah. But yeah, what was there? I have no idea what you're talking about with whack, by the way. So like, oh, was there more uh, of that? Primarily, do you know who Ben Shapiro is? Oh yes. Uh, primarily Ben Shapiro and a bunch of other people, but mostly him because it's funny. Uh, said that that song should not exist because uh, women are too sexual and nobody wants to see you naked and blah 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 blah. Which oh I feel God. like that's up to the producer and then the viewer. I feel like that's a very like and the woman. Right, like I feel like that's that's a very like mom uh, getting mad at what's on their TV when they put it on their TV argument. Yeah. Like nobody, no, like yeah, nobody's asking the, but nobody's asking you to fucking watch it, Ben. You just reminded me of a fucking Family Guy bit where they're like, where Peter just the episode ends, and Peter's just like, maybe if parents don't want uh, their children to be seeing all this content, they should uh, 
be more careful with what they watch. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the end of the episode. Yeah. <laughs> we were we one of the things on Survivor that you can bring is you can bring like a luxury item. Yeah. So just like a hey, this is a cool thing from home. Uh not food, and Dylan decided that his luxury item would be a cutout of Dwayne the Rock Johnson, regardless of whether or not he's okay with being on CBS every week. <laughs> oh. So I was doing like a. That is a good like know? inspirational, yeah. I like. You that. know, it's uh, it might not be the most helpful around camp. Uh, if it rains, it might get a little destroyed. But right. you know, I just think having it's gonna make the next thirty nine days a lot easier. <laughs> it's true. Uh, also, the other thing I forgot to say is we gotta go back and buy a uh, powder keg for the bomb shop. Ah, sure. Do. But that can be done by warpage, no problem. Did you hear uh, about the rock? Uh, I bet he's still alive. Yeah. Oh yes, he I is did. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Him and his family got COVID. I definitely have a theory about how that happened. Because probably his, some stupid way, I'm gonna guess. Well, his daughter is currently training to be a wrestler. And ah, I wonder. The, the entire wrestling community has not been very safe about that. So No, they sure haven't. Possible that his entire family got it via his daughter, via WWE. Not that AEW's done better. They've brought back live crowds, which are officially back, and that's stupid. That's so, so dumb. Yeah. So dumb. But uh, in their defense, they're at a quarter capacity, which for AEW is like two people. So the call out. I've seen a few of those. I don't they're, hate them. They're not bad. Die. They're not bad. Chris Jericho needs to fuck himself. But Kenny Omega and John Moxley and Orange Cassidy, they're all cool. Yeah, I was gonna say what's what's tight jeans, the guy I like. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's cool. I like him. The cast man. Um what else did I have? So that that yeah, that conversation kind of went where I was hoping it would. Uh, oh, here's a one that should be interesting. Do you have any of these moments, like, where you remember specifically where you were when significant moments in history happened? Like, exactly where I was? Yeah. I remember sitting, I remember exactly my house, the room set up, and... Burning the, to the ground. The couch I was sitting <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember exactly where in my living room as a child I was sitting when I found out that uh, Michael Jackson died. That's my. So do I. I remember exactly where first, I was when Michael Jackson. My first thought is that I was at my friend's house and his mom had the TV on, but she never had the TV on, and I was like, "What are you watching?" It's like Michael Jackson's died. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. That definitely is one for me. Um, that's the biggest one. Like, that's the first one. Yeah, I don't remember um, a lot in terms of history. Kill. Like, I don't uh, remember, yeah, this is going to sound horrible, but I was like young, uh, young. I don't remember where I was when 9-11 happened. I'm pretty sure... I was at school. I have, like, vague memories of, like, a classroom setup and, like, me sitting in a certain seat, but I can't, like... I'm not 100% sure if that was 9-11 or something else. You know? I... I was five, though, so... What about the moon landing? Well, that didn't happen. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> we just go into a bunch of conspiracy so still, theories. When, when it happens, I'll let you know. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Still waiting for that. Yeah, one. wait. We're waiting on that one. I remember the uh, fake was... moon landing. <laughs> no, you don't. You sure don't. You were like negative forty. <laughs> um, I remember when I was when Tupac shot JFK. It's a significant moment in history. So we're going back. We gotta buy the. You get the, yeah, we gotta get some roops and uh, get the gore, the powder keg. Okay. 
and then win the race. And then finish the sword. And... Are we doing the Romani Ranch? No, right? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. We're doing that now? Yes. I yeah. guess we can, yeah. I guess there's no more. We're gonna have to buy a second powder keg from that guy, though. <clears throat> That's true. Um, it, it, which one do you want to do first? I, the only I would suggest doing the race first because it's more time reliant. <laughs> so we have a limited amount of time. Why do I have to buy a powder to, keg? Why don't I just take it as to a blow up the rock? But I can just take it you as could. a could. Yeah. You could, but the point was that you can avoid the gauntlet. Oh, that's okay. I'll do it again. It doesn't take too much time. Yeah, you because will I, have to buy one to blow up the way to uh, yeah. Ramon Ranch. Yes. I was thinking it was going to be easier, but then I spent all my money on the sword, so I'm like, I feel like it's going to take too much time to grind up groups. But, that was fair. Um, so my buddy, speaking of JFK, but not actually, uh, uh, okay. we, were, we were discussing... I'm going to film a water bottle, but I'm still listening. Okay. We were discussing uh, Chris Cornell, and he goes... He, he does all these fucking stupid bits where he, like, comes up with whack conspiracy theories. And I used to think he was serious, and I found out it was just... He was just trying to make me think he was crazy. It worked. Uh, so he's like, yeah, no, Chris Cornell's still alive. And then he paused, and he went, and Tupac. He goes, they're, uh, you know, part of Secret Service, but they're currently uh, making a band uh, that's kind of like punk rock, kind of like Linkin Park style. And, and there was just a an elongated pause, and I went, "Why didn't you pick Chester for that bit?" And he just went quiet for so long, and then he laughed, and he's like, "No, yeah, Chester's there too. He's just not in the band." <laughs> like, okay, he's just their PR guy. Yeah, why why is Chester not in the Lincoln Park reboot, but Tupac and Chris Cornell are? Tupac. Big career shift for him. <laughs> he was just like, I could hear under his breath, he was like, oh yeah, I guess I could have. Oh. No, it's all a dream, baby. <laughs> Did you hear Chris Cornell's uh, song that they released? It was like, I don't know when he recorded it, obviously. like, I think it was a year before he passed or something. Uh, but they released it only like a couple weeks ago. Nope. He did a cover of Patience by Guns N' Roses. Ooh, very good. I, I whatever Chris people Cornell. describe, say that someone did a cover, I'm like, I peek when I hear cover, and then I either get, like, I I peek back up again if it's a song that I like, or I just kind of recline if I'm not really, if I don't know the song, and I'm like, oh. yeah. I'm not a huge Guns N' Roses person. Um, no, but we this, discussed previously yeah. that I hate them. <laughs> yeah, uh, but Chris Cornell like saves the life of the song i feel like and i don't like the original song either so their guns and roses are bad <laughs> they've got a couple like it all comes fucking back to fucking music it's insane yeah um, like uh paradise city is okay sweet child of mine getting kind of sick of it but it's all right I think I'm burnt out of that song for sure. Um, I think that might be the last topic. Well, I guess we'll just sit in silence for the <laughs> remainder of the stream. Fine. I can't do this. Oh, okay. Thank God you broke first. <laughs> I couldn't. I was I was planning on going through the whole Goron race. That would have sucked. Yeah. I, I used up my comedy way too early. I was like, I did the sip of water and I did the cough. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought that too. I was like, you went for the cough kind of fast. Did you hear me go for the uh. sniff? No. Yeah, <laughs> I went for the classic. I was, I was too busy being uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm super excited about Mario 3D World, by the way. I like, am too. I'm... You know me. I'm 
lukewarm on all 3D Mario's at best, but that one's a little different. Right. Um, and I think the fact that it's... I gotta assume it's four-player multiplayer. It has. Well, it is, but I don't know if the online... The online better be four-player, otherwise, what the fuck? But also, I'm worried because Mario Maker online doesn't work. So I'm concerned. Oh, no. Yeah. What do you it, mean? It goes Doesn't at like... Doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose? No, I mean like the multiplayer. Mario Maker by itself, like you can still go on like other people's maps and stuff. But like multiple oh. people playing on the same map is a feature. Oh, that's that, a thing? Yeah. And it, it goes at like 10 frames a second, maybe. Um, Interesting. So hopefully that's good. Can hopefully they, the Mario Maker. they fix that. But... Uh, I definitely, I want to, KT, if you're listening to this ever, I love you. I want to say me, you, Dylan, and KT. However, KT's schedule is not always the most reliable, so I'm thinking we might recruit yeah. John, John instead. KT, KT kind of happens and doesn't. Yeah. So I'm thinking. He's like, he's like the Northern Lights. Yeah. <laughs> Catch a glimpse of him at fucking <laughs> an event. Uh, so I definitely so think. I think me, you, John, and Dylan would be a really good squad. I think yeah, we could get a lot of laughs out of that. Uh, we'll definitely do it. I just don't know what this motherfucker. Do not cut me off at the last second. I will kill you. He's like, all right, BRB, hop into the game and just be his ass. No! Whoa! Move! Leave! Gah! Kind of first yeah. try. Would you consider that a first try? <laughs> You won the race, so yes, I would. But it wasn't really my first try. But that's okay. It was, f it was tremendous because we got what we needed in as little time as possible. So now we just gotta gather up rupees and go buy a powder keg and go do the Dar uh, the Romani Ranch stuff. The Darmani Ranch. <laughs> Wait till they see me roll up. It will be. It's just a graveyard. 